The presidential, gubernatorial, national and state houses of assembly campaign of All Progressives Grand Alliance, APGA, for the 2019 general election has been inaugurated. Captioned, Let's Build a New Nigeria. The inauguration was performed by the Chairman Board of Trustees of the party, Governor Willie Obiano. The event which took place at the Dr. Alex Ekweme Square in Oka witnessed the unveiling of the party's presidential and vice presidential candidates, retired Major General John Bo and Chief Jerry Chukweke, respectively. <laughs> campaign inauguration, which was in compliance with the INEX timetable, was attended by APCA governorship candidates in Imo, Abia, Zamfara and Nasarawa states. Candidates vying for different national and state houses of assembly positions in the 2019 general elections, as well as government functionaries, party faithfuls, among others. Performing the function, Governor Obiano conversed for support for APCA candidates for good governance support APCA all the way for good governance, for integrity, and all the people that pass the primary met in a retreat and they, they revive the culture of APCA. So they will not go there and promise what they cannot do. They go there and uh, in all modesty copy what we are doing in Anambra State and uh, replicate it everywhere. It's like the gospel. You are now the apostles who will now go to preach to the both Gentiles and otherwise. Go there and make converts. Baptize them with water and with the spirit of Abga. Which is, uh, be your brothers and sisters. Uh, yeah. That is what is important. That is what distinguishes us from the parties that we are handling here. So I encourage the youths, let us go and replicate 21 over, 21, 21 over, 21. and it was you youths, 
the elders, the traders, the, the civil servants, men and women of Anambra and people living in Anambra that made it happen. You made it happen because you believed in what we are doing. You cast your vote and sat down there, waited for it to be counted, followed through onto collation. That was why we had the victory. So I commend all of you once more for that great feat. This is the time for you to go and replicate that again. The same way you did it before, you will do it again. So that uh, everybody will see the light. Today is your Pentecost. I can see the lights on your head shining. Go now and preach the gospel. Spread the good news. Which is Onya uh, Yana Wanya. Be your brother and sister's keeper. Don't let your brother and sister alone. Drag him along as you're moving. Make progress together. So holding hands will get victory. And this is what I'm encouraging you. Uh, vote for all our candidates, presidential, uh, senate, house of reps, uh, of course, governors all over the place, and uh, the, our honorable house members in Anambra and everywhere, so that uh, we'll score our 21 over, 21. and all this with us through Christ our Lord. In his acceptance speech, retired Major General Gbo thanked the leadership of the party for the opportunity, stressing that the party will rescue the people from unemployment, poverty, anger and oppression. I want to thank Africa for giving me this wonderful opportunity to be your presidential candidate. Victory is from God. Like David, the little son of Jesse, with God, on my side, I will lead you to victory. With my sling, with my sling and a few little pebble stones, I will hit and defeat Goliath, the ABC and PDP. We are going to defeat the ABC and PDP. At time 2019, General Go will be the President of Nigeria. Africa will form the next government that will liberate Nigerians from the untold hardship. Africa will rescue Nigerians from the hands of killers. Africa will rescue Nigerians, Nigerian youth from the challenge of unemployment. Aga will rescue Nigerians from hunger and poverty. Aga will rescue Nigerians and set them free from all forms of oppression. Aga will rescue Nigerians, as I said, will set them free from oppression, and Aga will rescue Nigerian women from poverty and set them on the path of prosperity. You know that Nigerian women are suffering. Aga will liberate the Nigerian women from suffering. Aga will res rescue Nigeria's educational system so that our teachers, our lecturers, students will be liberated and set the, uh, uh, and set the stage to make Nigeria a great nation. For the first time in the history of Nigeria, the education budget will rise from 7% to 26%. There will be no more strike for educationists. Africa will rescue the fiscally challenged and help them to become productive members of the Nigerian society. Africa will liberate Nigeria and make her the great nation that God created us to be. In a remark, the national chairman of APGA, Chief Victor Oye, said that the party is presenting men who have the capacity of taking the nation to El Dorado. He also appreciated Governor Obiano for the display of wisdom and urged him to continue the good work. APGA is presenting a formidable duo. Two men that have the capacity physically and mentally 
to transform this country. After he's signing you a beautiful buffet, buffet of integrity, buffet of acuity, buffet of dexterity, buffet of performance. What we are going to do at the national level is a replica of what Governor William Biano has done in Anambra State. We are going to focus on agriculture, security, human empowerment, and above all, we are going to bring back Nigeria to God. Without God, there is nothing we can do. God is the foundation of Africa. And that is why no force on earth and beneath the earth can annihilate Africa. Africa is a spirit that will be shown in 2019 when God will exhibit his wondrousness and greatness in this party. We thank everybody who has found time to come here. Despite the difficult weather, despite the distances, people come from all the nooks, every nook and cranny of this country to witness this monumental event. I will thank God for what he's doing in Africa. We thank His Excellency, Dr. William Piano, Mutum in Pevo, Mutum in Pevo. This man is one man God has sent to Anambra State to re engineer this state and re engineer Nigeria as well. What we pray for you and your wife is long life, prosperity, and divine wisdom. Speaking on behalf of APCA candidates at the National Assembly, the member representing Anambra Central at the Senate, Chief Victor Ume, expressed gratitude to the party, having emerged one of the candidates, pointing out that the party is out to eliminate marginalization in Nigeria. We bring to this campaign flag of our esteemed solidarity to the party and gratitude for emerging as the candidates of the party for the various National Assembly elections. We recognize Professor Tukuma Atar Soludo. I forgot that they are not contesting anything. I was uh, acknowledging the candidates, the children are important stakeholders in our party, and you are not among the group I recognized. I did group recognition. Professor Chukuba Saludo, former governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria, I salute you. Today is a very great day, one more time in our party, when we are setting forth for battle on behalf of our party. The presidential candidates and vice presidential candidates of our party and the National Assembly candidates are here on parade. What I want to say is that Abia represents the spirit of the masses of Nigeria. Abia is a party that is out to provide succor to the oppressed people of Nigeria. Abia is a party that is out to eliminate marginalization of anybody in Nigeria. That is why our presidential campaign mantra is to have a country where nobody and no place is left behind. So Africa is here to accommodate all Nigerians in governance. We promise our people, the people of Nigeria, the difference they need to be happy. Any party that fights oppression and marginalization is a progressive party. 
And that is the party everybody should look out for. In this forthcoming 2019 general elections, we are here to represent this great party in this battle. It's a battle. And uh, we are prepared to carry the armor to the field and do everything humanly possible to return victories to our party. Earlier, the chairman of the National Campaign Committee of APGA, Mr. Uchenna Okabwe, stressed that the party's inability to present a presidential candidate in 2015 general elections is a great political error, which the party is now correcting, adding that their campaigns will be issue-based. This is the third presidential poll our party APGA is contesting since its registration in 20. 2002. The decision not to contest the 2011 and 2015 presidential poll was a huge political error and we are correcting that error in that 2019 starting from today. No doubt, 2019 will definitely be the best of our outing starting from today. Therefore, our party will be issue-based in our campaign and change the campaign narratives in Nigeria. We are not going to be involved in campaign of hate. We are not going to be involved in campaign of calumny. We are not going to be involved in campaign of calling names. We are not going to be involved in campaign of ethnic or religious Bias. Nigerians must, through our campaign, accept the responsibility of building the Nigeria of our choice, accept the revolution of the ballot papers in 2019. Nigerians must accept the restructuring of Nigeria that we work for our youths, our women, our elderly, and our pensioners have done in Anambra State. Nigerians must accept the reactivation of our institution for service delivery, the strengthening of the middle class by building businesses that will in turn bring employment. Nigerians must be well informed and politically educated to vote Afghan government throughout Nigeria, where no one or place is left behind. It could be recalled, according to the INEC guidelines, Afghan National Convention, which ushered in retired Major General Gbo as the presidential candidate of 2019 general elections, was held on Sunday, 7th October 2018. We are not a nation of North and South. I'm a, a student of Nigerian nationalism. When we started, we are not a nation of North and South. In the 20s, in the 30s, in the 40s, Nigerians were Nigerians and Africans versus the white man, the English. We were not Yorubas, we were not Hausas, we were not Fulanis, we were not Chiefs, we were Nigerians and Africans. And that is the spirit of Nigeria. Various chants and songs rendered the hair as the APGA flags were handed over to the candidates.
for you, Jam Blast, uh, all our great musicians all over the world are coming to perform in Anambra here, and you, you know Anambra has the largest core of musicians, so it will be fun, fun, fun all the way, tell the criminals to disappear, because we make them disappear during this period, so you, you young ones, and the young attacks, and the older ones, fathers and mothers, men and women, Come out this period and have a fun. God bless you. God bless our country, Nigeria. God bless Anambra State. All this we ask through Christ our Lord. Thank you.